I love music <laughs> and um, I'm a country singer-songwriter. I've been singing for about nine years now and uh, I've just always had a very big passion for music. Tonight we are very happily celebrating and showcasing our young women leaders. And at age 17, Danielle Lowe is our youngest famous five speaker to date. I've released my first album uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, I've also recorded a second album. I have a large YouTube channel. I just passed uh, 32,000 subscribers on YouTube. and. Um, just been really busy with events and gigs and uh, yeah, things have been really fun. A saying that I use when I sign CDs or I sign pictures all the time is live your dreams. And I think that's something that everyone should be doing is you should live your dream. They say that nothing of value comes easily, and I believe that to be true. Uh, yes, this business that I'm in is a lot of work. Uh, yes, I make many sacrifices to make this happen, make it my career. And yes, it's not what your average teen would be doing. After our young singer-songwriter finishes her gig with the Fort McMurray Famous Five, she's flying back to Edmonton to complete her departmental examinations. And after she finishes that, she's going on to Nashville to write her songs for her third CD. Being successful, um, one thing you have to do is keep going, no matter how hard um, things get. One of the charities that I support and that is dear to my heart is the Ronald McDonald House. You know, we go to lots of charity events and we just entertain anyone who's there, entertain the volunteers who are there. At first, I didn't really understand why we performed at so many charity events. Um, I would go and sing, get to see Wes and some of his other students who would become great friends and just have some fun. As I got a bit older though, I started to see these events in a different way. They started to have an effect on me. Wes, my vocal coach, has taught me um, from a very early age that uh, giving back to your community is very important and you know, worthwhile. And for me and every one of his students, it's, it's music that we can give back. When that sick little girl comes up to me after I sing at an event like the Hair Massacre, which raises funds for cancer, and she says how much she loves my voice and how it made her so happy. I have to wonder how my day could get any better. It's just been such an amazing journey for me and I learn so much about how connected the arts are to the community and how it affects people so much. I was really impressed actually. I've been to one of the Enbridge Famous Five events before, but this was a different case because she was inspiring us to do more in the community and not so much find find something that we loved ourselves and then turn it into something to help with the community. And I've never actually had anyone say that to me before. My first reaction was, holy cow, at 17 could I have done a presentation like this? And I couldn't even have imagined it. She is such a poised and accomplished and talented young woman. Uh, that in itself was inspiring, let alone the, the experiences she's had in blending her music with uh, work for nonprofits and charities. I, it was truly inspiring. When I'm passionate about something, I'm definitely going to see how I can take something that I love and help other people with it. Um, I enjoy event organization, so I can now go out. I'm thinking of actually going to the SPCA and asking them if they would like some help with maybe some work they've got there, organizing fundraisers, because that's something I love to do. And I never actually thought of that until she told me. Tonight, I introduced our guest speaker, Danielle Lowe. The young woman who will be introducing her tonight is Paula Kruznick, a 16-year-old high school student from the Edge School for Athletes. Danielle's a very, very nice girl. She's just like me, goes to school, 
I had the chance to talk with her a little bit, and she's just so down to earth and really nice to talk to and be around, and she's a very warm and giving person, and I had a great time this evening. The Fort McMurray Famous Five is very proud to be partnering with the Edge School for Athletes because we are really happy to be bringing our young women leaders front and center during our events.